looking to impress that special somebody with a clean soldering tip? Well, of course you are! Who wants to go out with somebody that has tips like these? I mean, really? No, 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 no! Fear not! The portable auto tip cleaner 200C2 will clean your tip in about two seconds. Two seconds! Whoa! Let's take a look. Portable tip cleaners are definitely a rarity these days. Now, I know not everybody thinks about cleaning their tips. Okay, good hygiene is not on everybody's agenda, but hey, it's on mine. It should be on yours too, because a clean tip is a happy tip. Let's face it. Okay, let's stop all this silliness and get right to busyness, shall we? This came from Amazon, and I paid about 30 bucks US for this little beast. Now, look at that. Really wow. not much competition in the tips department. I have to say, this is really one of these uh, unique um, electronics tools that uh, you don't see every day. I but gotta hey, say the packaging is pretty decent, really. Um, you also get, look at this, an extra bristle brush. So, you know, when this one goes south, you've got a fallback. And they gave you a neat little uh, cleaning brush with dual wire bristle heads to uh, clean it out from time Portable to time. Solvents. Iron tip cleaner, uh, powered by one 9 volt battery. 1.25 watts and look at that 5,000 revolutions per minute plus or minus 10% so that little brush really does really spin. nice to give you a few extras here um, always a bonus I love extras already has the 9 volt battery inserted I'm assuming wow this thing weighs a bit it's got some heft to it I gotta tell you and metal not plastic this is solid metal here's a little rubber inlet that's where you're gonna stick your tip Say that three times fast. And the whole idea is basically you just sit it down, portable, you can pull it out of your pocket. Oh yeah, wouldn't that look cute? And sit it down and stick your tip. Now I've got a couple of tips. These guys have seen a lot of use. Now they're not incredibly dirty. Believe you me, there's a lot worse out there. I know, I've seen them. This is, however, as dirty as I can find them in my lab. And well, here's another one, but uh, yeah, there you go. Now this is not a big unit by any means. Let's take a quick look shall we um we are talking 7.4 inches 7.4 inches just over half of a foot and in terms of width yeah not much look at that 1.2 inches so so to turn on the 200 c you simply press that button whoa oh yeah wow okay i could think of other uses for this oh my god i didn't say that but yeah look at that so it's it's Pretty powerful, I'm telling you, my hands are vibrating here. Wow, okay, so let's put this puppy to the test. Uh, I'm gonna pull out this nice big chisel tip here and let us just stick it yonder. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And look at that, look at that. Oh my! Very nice, very nice. So it's definitely cleaner than uh, beforehand. I like it, I like it. Okay, let's try another one. Here is a another one from my pace. Okay, a little gritty, a little gritty. Bit of a close up here, you can tell. Okay, okay, so here we go. Sorry for that vibration, but you know. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? Nice, nice. A lot of power here, a lot of power, but uh, hmm. Okay, so this thing works quite well, I have to say. One more here, one more. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, all sorts of thoughts roll through my head when this is happening. Hey, um, yeah, so definitely, you know, a few seconds and uh, they are definitely cleaner. And one nice thing is if you have some tips that are really corrosive, like I said, these aren't, you know, super bad, but if you have a really corrosive tip and all sorts of goop on there, um, you know what, something like this would be really, really good for the uh, 
longevity of that soldering tip. So, hey, looking good. Let's try my finger. No, 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 no. Definitely a niche product. Let's take a look on the inside. Here we have our assembly to remove that battery. And it's right underneath there. It comes out like so. And there is the nine volt battery housing. Let's just disconnect it. And let's take a look at the other side. So you just undo that thumb screw and it's as simple as that and it gives you instant access to your little assembly. Um, so here we are, there's the well, as you can see, that's where all that dross, I guess, as they like to call it, will go into all the little bits from your soldering tip. And of course you can just empty out like that. We have a nice rubber inlay here as well. Um, really good quality that they're using. I gotta say, this is a really nice quality rubber. Um, looking good. Now, getting a little bit closer look at that brush. Now you can see we've already lost a few pieces just from these couple of tips. So I don't know what the longevity is gonna be like for this brush, but like I said, they do give you an extra. Now as well, we have like a cotter pin here holding the uh, whole assembly in place. So you would just remove that cotter pin and uh, change your brush. All right, let's give that a whirl. I'm gonna take these pliers and just gently pull it out and yeah, no worries there. And that brush will just come off like so. And you can easily put on your replacement and you're back in business. Just put that cotter pin back in. Now I would just love to get in deeper and show you the inside, but you know what? There's absolutely no screws. They have glued the rest of it together. The housing, it is glued together. So I have to actually break it to, to, to get inside. And you know what? I don't want to break it. I want to keep it. So um, uh, suffice to say, it's as far as we're going to get with this one. But uh, generally speaking, I have to say very nicely done. Definitely a unique tool for the bench. And I gotta say, it's pretty darn cool. The only qualm with this little device is the fact that putting that cotter pin back in can be a little bit tricky. So just take a deep breath, take your time, and hey, it will get in there eventually. Um, really nice, they give you that extra brush. And all around, this is quite a novel, but good cleaning tool, and I highly recommend it. The portable. Auto Tip Cleaner 200C2 gets a solid four out of five stars. Definitely something unique. And you know what? I don't see these all the time. So if you're interested, you might want to grab one while you can. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one, keep on testing.